And hopefully there are questions because it really always adds a dimension to the, you know, how would it be spent together? I have a question, Stuart. This is Melissa. This is Melissa. Uh, hi. Um, I've noticed recently a lot of really strong, like, fear and grasping. Excuse me one second. Listen, it's really important that everybody sit still. Uh, I say this all the time and it finally has to penetrate. Everybody is sitting in their own bedroom, their own living room, their own kitchen, some people in their cars. And it seems like we're all alone here by ourselves, but there's, you know, almost 30 people here that are sitting in a class. And if you move, if you try to fix your computer, if you try to move, you, you, it really truly, that movement disrupts the whole energy of the class. So please try to find the discipline inside to sit still, you know, if you have an itch, if there's a pain, if God knows, a fly lands on your nose, if you, you know, want to look around, just get more focused in the chakra below the navel. It'll give you the capacity to detach yourself from all of those annoyances. Now, I'm not saying this because, I mean, you know, look, I'm tired of talking about this, but I'm telling you, you know, although everybody is sitting in their own home, you know, we're really a group here of a lot of people. And if you are moving Un, if there's any undisciplined movement, it truly disrupts the class. And I'm just asking you, please, to try to get more focused inside and not to move. No, go ahead, Melissa. I'm sorry. I just had to say this. It's okay. Um, I was just saying that I've been experiencing a lot of fear and grasping on all kinds of levels. And I was just wondering if you could talk about working with those forces. You know, look, those things are not necessarily negative things. When you're changing inside and really developing connection with higher energy, you're letting go, you're surrendering inside, you really are opening to a completely different level of living in your life. There's going to be fear. You're stepping into the unknown. The greatest fear in the world is always people stepping into the unknown. But when change takes place, when cycles come to an end, when we grow inside ourselves that way, when we're ready to embrace, you know, a whole different level of transcendental energy, you know, fear is almost, you know, it's almost like it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. and if it doesn't happen, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> I mean, that, so it's not the fear, it's the identifying with the fear. It's letting your mind get involved with the fear, letting your emotions get involved. That's what creates Frankenstein. That's what creates the monster inside yourself. Because the fear is just telling you, you are changing. You are gonna enter a, a level of consciousness that you haven't you know, had to deal with before. It's a much higher realm in your life. And that's happening to you, Melissa. I've seen it so much in the way you've grown in the last month, two months, that when you tell me you're experiencing these things, I am not surprised at all. Thank you. So just don't let your mind get involved. Don't let your emotions get involved. Just stay centered in the chakra below the navel and you will transform that fear into chi, into energy of harmony, balance, and you'll get stronger inside yourself. So fear in itself is not necessarily a negative quantity. You understand when we start identifying with it, when we let our minds, emotions, or energy getting involved in the fear, then it grows and it becomes an internal monster, paralyzes us. So it's another test of your inner work 
to detach yourself from the fear. Let the fear be a warning bell. You are changing. Go deeper in yourself, open more, work harder on yourself. And then, you know, really in an in, in instant, the fear is going to go away. And what's going to replace it is a very strong force of energy that will come into you. that will truly take you to a whole different level of your life. I mean, I hope this makes sense. I hope it finds a place inside you because it's a very important aspect of doing spiritual practice, especially the way Rudy taught it, you know? Mm. And how he taught me how to teach this. I mean, th this is not I'm okay, you're okay kind of work, <laughs> you know? It's work that takes you, you know? to another realm of consciousness that changes your entire inner life, that allows you to truly become consciously a child of God living here. It allows you to step into the unknown. What it eliminates is the fear of death, the fear of change, you know, insecurity about one's life. These are the things that are eliminated the willingness to embrace the unknown, because in the unknown is all creative energy. Thank you so much. I appreciate your answer. You're welcome. Does anyone else have a question? And once you can detach from fear, there's really no problem with finding your own self-worth. Because most of fear is such a conditioned response to the world that we're almost trained from the moment we're born to be afraid of life. And once you detach yourself from it, I mean, life, it's all one. Life, death, the unknown, the known, it's all one. There's no separation except in the human mind. And what we know, you know, you can fit into a, you know, a thimble. What we know about anything and all of creative energy is in the 99% of what we don't know. And if you open to it, it nurtures you, it helps you to grow, it builds you as a human being. It gives you the capacity to truly connect with God or higher energy or whatever one wants to call it. Does anyone else have a question?
Okay, if there are no more questions. There'll be a class on uh, Wednesday, same time. As I always end these classes, you know, it's so important for me to just connect with all of you in the way that enables me to truly open and surrender every single thing that exists inside me. To let go, to open to God, to let God, Rudy, higher energy, Nichananda, you know, Bhagwan Nichananda, to come through and teach these classes. I mean, if I hadn't developed a certain kind of fearlessness in myself, you know, I could never surrender to the depth that would allow these higher energies to come through and nurture everyone who sits in these classes. So it's really important to build the kind of chakra system that enables you to overcome the fear of the unknown, the fear of living, the fear of dying, because ultimately it all gets down to the same thing, you know, there is, when you finally arrive at that state, there is no separation between life and death, there is no separation between the known and the unknown, other than what exists inside our own minds. That's where the separation is. And, you know, we need to learn to quiet the mind. We need to learn to receive in the third eye, you know, God's wisdom. And God's wisdom takes us beyond all of these borders and boundaries. The wisdom of higher energy in the universe. And all these classes are about is building that kind of inner life. So I say it all the time, and it's true. We need to build it. It's not just going to happen. We need to work on it and develop it and build the capacity to unify the known, the unknown, light, death, right, wrong, all polarity, all duality, it all becomes one if we master ourselves in some. Okay, if there are no more questions, then oh, thank you. And I will see you all on, on Thursday, on Wednesday. So bless you all. Thank you. And, uh, Thank you. Good night, Stuart. Good night. Have a good evening. Very nice. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you.